hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial in today's video we are going to discuss about another basic elementary signal which is the exponential signal okay so the exponential signal is represented as e to the power alpha okay this is the basic representation of the exponential signal so here the exponential signal waveform can be studied under three headings under three cases okay case 1 where alpha is equal to 0 this is case 1 case 2 where alpha is greater than 0 and for case 3 where alpha is lesser than 0 under three cases we can study the exponential signal so when we put alpha is equal to 0 it means we will get e into 0 into t which is equal to e to the power 0 which will be always be 1 okay it will always be 1 so it means this signal waveform okay the signal shape will always be a flat line okay of constant amplitude which will be equal to 1 okay this this is xt and this is t it will be a constant magnitude line of amplitude equal to 1 <coughs> now for alpha greater than 0 okay for alpha greater than 0 the waveform will look something like this an increasing an exponential signal of increasing amplitude okay as time progresses the amplitude of the signal will increase like this and at t equals to 0 the value will be 1 this is for this is xt for alpha t and for alpha is equal to 0 this is again e to the power alpha t for alpha greater than 0 and exponentially increasing signal and at t equals to 0 the amplitude is equal to 1 for alpha greater than 0 okay now for alpha lesser than 0 okay here yeah. It will be the opposite okay here it will be the opposite it will be an exponentially decreasing signal okay e to the power alpha t this is t and at t equals to 0 it will again be 1 for alpha greater than 0 it will be an increasing signal a signal of increasing magnitude or amplitude and here it will be a signal of decreasing amplitude for alpha lesser than 0 and for alpha equals to 0 it will be a signal of constant amplitude equal to 1. Suppose in place of e to the power alpha t it is given a we fix an amplitude a with respect to that. So here in place of 1 it will become a here at t equals to 0 it will become a also here it will become equals to 0 if we fix an amplitude a with respect to the the exponential part okay so this is how the exponential signal is for the uh, continuous time domain now if we want to uh, convert it into discrete time what we have to do is that we have to again plot the signal at equidistant 
time interval so here it will be like this see if we plot the signal at various points at equidistance points so this will be like this it will look something like this in the discrete time domain just we take the plots at equidistant time intervals here also it will be like this if we take the plots okay signal will look something like this here also the signal will look something like this okay this just we have to take the plots of the amplitude of the signal at different points distinct points which are located at equal distances from each other okay so this is the discrete time representation of the exponential signal we just remove this black portion if we remove the black portion these flat the straight lines of different amplitudes will denote the discrete time representation of the exponential signal okay and here it will be all straight vertical lines of constant amplitude okay so this is the discrete time representation of the exponential signal okay so this is all about the exponential signal in continuous and discrete time domain okay